Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? Hope y'all are having a good day. Like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you won't miss a video. So, this is a case that I want to talk about, but it happened back in April. And I actually, once I started researching, I started um, kind of recognizing the lady's face. But this is one of those videos that's kind of like, is really for awareness, right? Because y'all should know my stance by now. I'm not against cosmetic surgery at all, but I am against making impulsive decisions and not doing research. And I'm all for you knowing that it's a risk, whether everything's good with your health, whether your doctor is good, like it's still a risk that you may not make it out. So, but I'm not against it. So yeah, that's a big to do in the internet community between men and women, I think. So this case is about 45, the, the, the age is either 45 or 47, but Tanisha Walker, a, she was a mother of four and a grandmother of 11. So what caught my eye about this case, she got surgery from someone named Dr. Simmons, but he works at the infamous New Life in Miami, Florida. What is the significance about Dr. Simmons and New Life? It's, I don't know Dr. Simmons, but that New Life, y'all, in Miami, Florida, I just keep hearing too many things in regards to them. So Jackie O's surgeon, right? He used to work at New Life. He had switched to a different clinic by the time he got to Jackie O. But he used to work at New Life. This is the same one, the same uh, surgery center that I referenced in my last cosmetic surgery video about Jackie O that my friend who I um, dance with sometimes, she had a surgery at New Life. They had her take off work, come down there, had her deposit everything just for her to get there and them say, Oh, it was something on your record about your brain and we can't do your surgery. Now, y'all know that's fine, right? That's what they were supposed to do, but they wasn't supposed to have her get off work, come up there, act like everything was okay, all that money and time she wasted. But that was new life. And it also was with Dr. Zach. Dr. Zach being the one who we don't know went, what went wrong, but he's the one that was over Jackie O when she passed away. But this new life place, ladies, I don't know what makes it so attractive. When I done my surgery search, New Life actually never came up on my radar like as a place that I wanted to like try out or look at, but it may possibly be because I knew how they had wasted my homegirl's time and that just kind of turned me off. So, but I'm I'm assuming there must be they must have like great uh, reviews and results because it seems like that center is very popular and with there being eight million uh, cosmetic surgery centers in Miami for that one to be so 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 popular it must be something special about them but I'm here to tell y'all I don't know about them folks I think it's just either a dark cloud over them or either they taking shortcuts on stuff that would make me say we need to go ahead and kind of blacklist them when it comes to the surgery thing so Dr. Simmons, the one who did the, done this grandmother's surgery, the 45 to 47 year old grandmother, he was board certified. He had everything he needed to have. OK, but his the, the center, New Life, actually we're I guess right now the investigation is going on. So we don't know if her medical conditions affected the surgery or if it's just more negligence on new life part but i did see somewhere that tanisha the grandmother was denied cosmetic surgery by a different center they said something about her health problems but new life did not decline her of the surgery so that's already partially on them but they took another step they they recommend her to this safe house right now, if you ever investigated surgery, you know that everybody's trying to bundle up their services. They'll have you come there. They either do like their massages and stuff inside the center or they have like a person they're already kind of partnering with. They'll say, hey, we use this safe home. They got good deals and, you know, you can go through them. They're connected to us. 
Well, they sent this grandmother to a surgery center or surgery home to be taken care of that they, you know, were affiliated with. And the lady who was running that center, charging them $200 a night, had access to prescription medications to give them. And she was not licensed. So that brings about a new problem. Now, we don't know if it was her health problems as to why she didn't make it through the BBL. We don't know if the doctor did something crazy and didn't follow procedure. We don't know if something went wrong in that surgery center that could have been prevented. And because they weren't actually licensed, they didn't know what to do or they hesitated and didn't call 911. But um, I just think the moral of this story is still make your own decisions about cosmetic surgery. It is getting a little bit ridiculous with the deaths and malpractice. But if you are considering it, I would say new life. It's just been too much bad stuff going on there. I would say look right over them because I don't really know what's going on. Different doctors is still bad things going on. 